Lake Erie researcher Carol Stepien started a forum on algae blooms by displaying a sample collected Monday afternoon. I think it's putrid. Yeah. It looks terrible. It looks like pea green soup. Stepien says the potentially harmful algae feed on nutrients, including phosphorus, that enter the lake from farm runoff and sewage treatment plants. She's one of six panelists who led a discussion at the University of Toledo on how to fix the problem. It is to a higher use of phosphorus based the discussion was streamed live on the university's YouTube page and the panel fielded online questions that contain the hashtag Toledo Algae. They also took questions from audience members in the auditorium. One of the questions came from Lyman Welch, the director of a water quality program in Chicago. Uh, when can we expect our decision makers and leaders in government to take action to address uh, the problem in Lake Erie? When I asked Welch that same question, his answer was immediately. He says lawmakers need to explore ways to reduce the presence of phosphorus in Lake Erie. It's a question that's been on Stepien's mind as well. I think they need to be talking about it tonight and tomorrow. Stepien says the Department of Agriculture and the Natural Resources Conservation Service need to work together to find solutions. She says it'll take a lot of work to clean up the lake. In the meantime, she says to keep bottled water stocked in the basement, just in case of another emergency, because the algae season isn't over yet.